Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. We're going to check out Dandra Trials of Fear. This is kind of like a Metroidvania type of game. So without any further ado, let's check it out. I actually thought this was looking pretty interesting, which is why I wanted to uh, take a look at it and play with it and see what my first impressions were of all. And also to help you guys decide maybe this is something that you guys might want to pick up and play for yourselves too so if you are brand new to the channel this is your first time coming feel free to throw a subscription my way enable notifications and um let's begin so the balance broke oppression came when all seemed lost look at these 16-bit sprite graphics from the cryptic creation a new hope awakened whoa look at this so okay of course i have to go through a, uh, a tutorial but that's kind of cool so you aim and you click to where you want to land at so that's kind of interesting okay so L plus X is shoot Shoot, huh? All right. And you can only move by jumping around? I hope not. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool and different, but I hope I hope you can actually move your character eventually. But you kind of have to just kind of aim around and find spots where your character can land at. Push A. Okay, so that opened a switch. Let's see what it is. I'm enjoying the graphics though. Look at this atmosphere. Look at the background. Look at that parallax scrolling where those heads just get revealed a little bit. Actually, this is this looks like a beautiful game right away. So pardon me if I gush over it a little bit. Alright, so moving. We're moving. And uh looking around to see exactly what's flag raised so I'm guessing that's like a checkpoint I'm guessing the flag raise is like a checkpoint or something a let's see what this does see where this takes me guys whoa enemy okay um, first bit of an enemy that I encountered so that's interesting good good thing I didn't die let's see what's going on here let's continue forward that's interesting So I have to hit the lit ones in order to cause a, a reaction for it to explode and open up. So here we go. Alright, let's move. Yeah, I saw that thing sparkling, so I was like, alright. So it's it's like a Metroidvania, but not in the sense where it's like a traditional platforming. I could see it being where you have to walk around and backtrack and, and stuff like that for sure. Alright, so. Definitely different in regards to how it control. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I fell into the ob ob oblivion. Good thing I hit that checkpoint. I think, I think the issue was that I didn't see the enemy right there, so. Can we go ahead and see what's this way? Uh, doesn't look like I can go that way yet. So let's go back to where we were. It does seem like this is definitely a lot slower pace than I thought it would be. God dang it. Why am I... Why am I toxic? Alright, here we go. Oh, I gotta wait. See, I'm anticipating it exploding. Ah. I keep getting confused. It's L plus X to shoot. 
Oh my goodness, guys. I'm a fraud. I don't know how to play video games. Alright, here we go. Kind of confusing how to navigate, too. I mean, it's not bad. It just takes some time to get used to because you want to just run and walk like a traditional platforming game, but you got to remember it's not. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. You kind of grapple to and fro from place to place. Oh, look. That's where I died. I wonder if I can... Grave wounds. Okay, what's that do? So that was where I died last, but I don't know if, if it benefits you to get back where you died. Like, maybe you get your experience back or something. I'm not sure. I know some games do that. Let's go ahead. Continue forward, boys and ghouls. I don't want to touch the shiny thing. Pro tip number one. Don't touch the shiny stuff. I'm so shiny. Weapon takes a little bit of getting used to, but we figured it out. There we go. Oh, shoot. Again? That's exactly where I got hit last time. Alright, not bad. Now we're making some bacon. Definitely interesting, guys. I'm intrigued. I like the music. I like the art direction. The control does take a little bit of getting used to. But so far, so good. We'll see how the, how the world opens up once you get to a certain area in the game. So... Did I unlock the doorway? I like that you had to go this way though because you couldn't reach those other areas that you could. It's like that snow looking white stuff. I couldn't reach that other area. Just coming from this way. So. I guess now I have to go back. Oh look spikes now. Alright, I'm, I'm glad I got through that in one try. But look, they, they change they change the game on you a little bit. They're like, oh, we're gonna give you spikes, buddy. Alright, we're just gonna hurry our happy butts around. Oh, pff. game over. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. I have to go through all that again. You know what, guys? I can see that this is more than likely going to be a great game once you get past a certain point. But we'll be here all day. If this is something I might get back on live stream. If you'd like for me to stream this, let me know. It seems interesting. I think once you go past this opening part, this is just teaching you the basics. But once you get past it, I'm sure the world opens up immensely and stuff. I read about it. They did compare it to being a Metroidvania game, so maybe... In a sense, it is, but just not traditional with, like, the platforms and, and things like that. But, I mean, the, the graphics, the pixel art or the sprites that they chose to do, the music, everything has this weird atmosphere to it. And we're just at the beginning parts of the game. It feels like a puzzle platformer in a sense where you have to kind of avoid obstacles and gauge where you're going to land and stuff and work on your timing and, and how to attack and things like that. So, it is unique. I feel like I've never played anything else that's like this. So, it does have... A lot of points for originality and stuff like that. This is something that I would definitely like to go back and see. It seems like a high quality indie game. So let me know what you guys think down below. Comment. Are you intrigued by this? Is this something that you would consider playing? Is this something that you have played? What are your thoughts on it? Or is this something that you want to pass on completely 
Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe again if you are brand new. Enable bell notifications so you're alerted when I go live and when I upload. Don't forget to like or dislike. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.